All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use um, objects like coins or stars to give your character points as they play the game. Uh, this could be useful uh, both for an exploring game or also a racing game. And so it's pretty simple. You're going to use the object tool, and you can just uh, click anywhere on the ground to add an object. And in this case, I'll be adding a coin. Uh, you could also use the star, um, or really any object you want, but uh, I'll try to keep it simple here with a coin. Uh, one thing I usually do, the coins are actually kind of small and not that bright, um, so I usually change them to like a yellow or orange color, um, and then actually program them to glow. Um, if you want something to happen always, you don't even need to put anything for the win box. I'll just say do, and it's one of the actions, which is glow. And again, you can set a color to it, so I'll make that yellow, so that my coin will kind of glow during the game. Now, you don't see it right now, um, but when we actually play the game, you should see the coin kind of glowing over there. It's not a whole lot, but it's a little bit more noticeable. Then, to actually score points, or interact with the coin, I'll do the rest of the programming on my main character. Um, I like to do that because then if there is a glitch or something I need to change, I can just change the the program of my character. I don't have to go find all of my coins and reprogram them. So on the main character, I'm going to go to the program, and I just need to add a line for what's going to happen when it bumps the coin. Um, so that'll be the bump control when it bumps, and you got to be specific and tell it what we're talking about. So when it bumps a coin, which is way up here, when it bumps a coin, I want it to do something, and I want it to score a point. Uh, so that's part of the game settings, and we're going to add to the score. And I'll just say it's going to be worth one point. Uh, you could do lots of different point values. You could have larger coins that are worth more, or hidden coins, or coins that are in tricky spots could be worth more points. Uh, but I'll just keep it simple here and make it one point. Um, you can have different scores. So you can have scores for the coins, or scores for the stars, or different objects. So you could do that with different color scores. Uh, but for now, I'll just keep it simple and uh, actually just do no color. Um, so if I test this right now, something kind of interesting happens. And this is why programming, um, it's really important to test your level and see how it works. Uh, because right now it looks like I should get a point for touching the coin. And I do, but we see there's a glitch. There's nothing in the program telling the coin what it should do after I bump it. And so it just sits there and I can keep bumping it and getting a whole bunch of points. Uh, so we don't want that to happen. So to fix that, we just need to add one more line to our program. And I like to use copy and paste a lot in my programming. So since I'm still talking about bumping the coin, I can just right click and copy this row and paste it and then just change what the do is going to be. Uh, so instead of adding a point this time, I'm going to go over to the combat settings and I want it to vanish. Um, and this is where programming gets kind of tricky. you got to be careful to select the correct option. Um, if I vanish me, that's actually me, the cycle. So I want to vanish it, the coin. Um, the me and the it, that depends on whose program you're working on. So since I'm working on cycles program, me would be cycle, it would be the coin. So I want to vanish it. Um, so now if I test this, I should be able to drive right over to the coin. I should bump it and get a point, and the coin disappears from the map. 